religious divide in Indian state election. Anti-Hindu threats go viral. On January 25th, 2022, uh, a video of uh, Samajwadi Party candidate Adil Chowdhury went viral on Twitter when he was seen uh, seemed to be stating that Muslims will quote unquote take or will take revenge for crimes committed against them. In the video, he encourages Muslims to rally against the current government in the state of Uttar Pradesh. He continued, quote, not a single person will be spared, inshallah. Um, BJP spokesperson Amit uh, Mal, uh, Malvia shared the video asking if the uh, SP chief uh, Ak Akhilesh Yadav only nominated candidates who were anti-Hindu goons like Adil Chowdhury. Chowdhury's defenders contend that he was not threatening Hindus as no specific community was mentioned in his statements. When India Today reached out to Chowdhury for further comment, he stated the video was altered by the BJP in an attempt to attack him. SP spokesperson Vineet Bhatnagar told news outlets the video would be investigated to see if it breached the Election Commission's Code of Conduct. Do we, so this, do we have the video? Oh, yeah, go on. Um, yeah, but it's not in English, so... People can find it if they want, but um, I don't think we should show it because um, I can't. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I thought we should cover this because we have been covering a lot of incitement uh, of violence towards Muslims in India. And this was an incident that was brought to my attention. And it was pretty freaking crazy. Um, it when you read his full statements, it's very clear because they've tried to be like, oh, we're not talking about specific communities. But if you read it, it's very clear that he is talking about the Muslim community. Um, now, the his Hindu community. well, no. no, but I mean, people are trying to say like, he's not talking about like communities in general, but he definitely is. Um, mm -hmm. uh, another contention or the defenders try to say that oh he's not talking about violence against people he's talking about like the party taking power will be revenge against the current ruling party of Uttar Pradesh which is obviously the BJP uh, led by Yogi Adinath and um and really just trying to you know he's trying to garner support for the oppressed minorities, he's in in in, in mm -hmm. taking revenge by by gaining power in the government. It's not like a personal thing. What did he say specifically? What was his words? Um, let me find the source that I found. One I'm going to play the video, not without without the audio, just to see when if he says the video was altered. Like, was there any cuts in the video? Hold on, I'm going to mute it. Because he said the video was altered. Well, it's only Is 30 it... seconds of the video, so he's probably saying so... that it didn't include his whole comments. Okay, but that's not the same as saying it was altered. Like, if you could say it was taken out of context, but altered means that, like, okay, there's no cuts in the video. Yeah, there's no cuts in the video, so it wasn't altered. So he should have been, like, if he wanted to make, make a claim, he should have said it was taken out of context, not altered. Bold... Yeah, this video was not altered. So... Here, here are some of his comments. Our government will be formed in Uttar Pradesh. We will not spare them. Uh, quote, you all will, you like, you all remain tension free. Our government will be formed in Uttar Pradesh. Inshallah, we will not spare them. The way they are carrying out these crimes against us, we will take revenge against all these moves. They, meaning the opposition, will realize their mistakes. They will then think 100 times before harming us. They will, they will fear stepping outside their homes. My brothers, the fight against them is not over yet. Um, and he also was talking about um, holding the police responsible for like framing people. Okay, that sounds pretty violent. They will fear right? stepping. <laughs> they will fear stepping outside of their home. Yeah, that sounds pretty violent to me. Like, how could you how could you make them fear stepping outside of their home without violence? Do we will not spare any of them? That yeah, but he's pretty... insisting that he's re referring to the govern the current government, but his government is going to you know help people not make... be stressed. 
how could you make them fear stepping outside of their home without violence? Because uh, they'll be both prosecuted. Both. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the police can enter your home. <laughs> See, this seems like mob, like call out for mob mob justice or something like that. It's extremely it's irresponsible language for anyone yeah. trying to I'm, get elected to office to use. Yeah, I mean, this is a politician. In particular. Like, I mean, if, if it was like a just a random person, you would be like, oh, maybe he didn't know how to speak or something, right? This is like a, I mean, it's either a call for violence or very irresponsible phrasing. It's like the most charitable thing you could say is that it's very irresponsible phrasing. But if it's not that, then it's actually a call out for violence. So, mm -hmm. so that's pretty insane. Yes. Yeah, no, it's not to... cool. We condemn it. Um, condemn. I wanted to cover this because a lot of people, when we're talking about the gen the calls for violence against Muslims in India, a lot of people like to say, "Well, what about Owasi, who was this other Muslim politician who said some insane stuff?" I don't even think I right. can repeat it. Um, but that happened, I think, last year or even further back. So like, well, we cover news that happened in the past week. Like, I'll consider that, but that's, you know. Um, but this came to my attention, so I thought it was worth highlighting. This was in Uttar Pradesh? Mm-hmm. Do, do these people not realize, I mean, by these people, I mean politicians, okay? Do these <laughs> people not realize how, like, he's, like, trying to defend Muslims? Does he not know how difficult he's making life for Muslims in India? Do you know how amazing of a fuel this is for for the hindu nationalists in Uttar pradesh do you know how they're going to use you and the words that you spoke as a way to fear monger and make all like the hindus were like look we're not lying to you they're trying this is what their plan is they're trying to take over this state right this is what we're fighting against right you're like providing exactly everything that these hindu nationalists need as a way to discriminate against muslims so like not only not only is this irresponsible just because it's like just like very discriminatory against Hindus, it's also discriminatory against Muslims <laughs> because like you're just like adding fuel to the fire. Like, God damn it, man, these politicians, they're just like this is why like people don't understand that they're just like and, and the, the 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 mob that is just takes part in all of this, their lives keep getting worse and worse and worse. Well, these politicians are just enjoying staying in power because they're using each other's hate, like they're to to make themselves more relevant, right? Like I don't know how like the Muslims and Hindus who are taking part of this like collective blaming of each other understand how they're being used and how their lives are going to suffer, and they're not going to see they're not going to pay the price for it. They're just going to get votes out of all of this hate. And you, your life is going to be, you think like you're defending your motherland or like mother India or whatever, or the Oma, are you thinking like you're defending the, the glory of Islam or stuff? You're just making each other's lives worse. You know, this should be seen as politicians versus both Hindus and Muslims rather than Muslims versus Hindus kind of thing. That's how you should see it. Muslims and Hindu individuals should be like, okay, we actually, we're on the same side of this. The politicians are actually using us against each other for their own benefit. So you you, sh you should see the divide in the people against the pol these politicians. Not all of them, but some of these politicians. But yeah, I think you know a lot of these politicians actually do know that, but they just use this because it's the most politically expedient. So unfortunately, yeah. I hope, like, I mean, if Muslims and Hindus in India could see that then they would actually unite with each other against all of this hate mongering. You know what I mean? They were like, yeah. we're being used for something else. God damn it. We're not, like, or we shouldn't actually be. Israelis and Palestinians, you know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. This is a global problem. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Great example. Great example. Anything you want to highlight in the live chat before we. <laughs> No, uh, just Gossam's going off in the live chat. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship.
Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.